Now, tell me a little bit, Dan, you know, we know, I mean, here, I guess for the specifics are that Windows 10 end of support is October 14th, uh, 2025. So this year, not many months away. What does that mean? What does that actually mean? Well, I mean, it, it means you'll no longer be able to get security updates, patches for Windows 10 after that point. So mid-October this year. Yeah. Okay. So so what's the uh, – I mean, Microsoft obviously has gone through different operating system iterations for you know many years. What's the, what's the hype around Windows 11? Why – move to Windows 11 or or what's the uh, aside from Windows 10 being end of support I mean is there any other big uh, things to consider with Windows 11 well I mean I guess the biggest piece is around TPM and the security component of, of Windows 11 versus Windows 10 you know um, and that's kind of maybe what makes this a bigger upgrade for for most than going from 8 to 10 was a few years ago or seven to 10, which a lot of businesses actually did and skipped eight overall. Uh, a lot of it is just because of the, the way that BitLocker works now and encryption keys work and Windows Hello works. And uh, that's built into Windows 11, but it does require different hardware than what Windows 10 requires. And I think that's where a lot of the maybe negative feedback is uh, in the transition from Windows 10 to 11. Ah, so, uh, so there, so security is a big part of it, and uh, what you're saying is that you can't just, hey, upgrade to Windows 11. That like there's some specific hardware requirements that that necessitate maybe really evaluating what hardware you have and if it will even work with Windows 11. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, typically, in the past, it's been you just had to worry about you know is Windows. Uh, you know, to use Windows 7 to Windows 10 example, um, you know, you had to worry about, do I have enough RAM? Do I have enough storage space? Do I have enough processing power so that this thing isn't just dog slow? Now we have to worry about the underlying chips on the board. Does does the processor support moving to Windows 11? Does the TPM module, which specifically you need TPM 2.0 to move to Windows 11, uh, does that support it? So it's just a lot more requirements versus in the past, it's just been about, okay, is it, is it, do I have enough space, storage space? Do I have enough RAM? Are, are we okay there? And that's where a lot of this comes in is this specific requirements around 11 are different than other upgrades in the past. Okay. So that makes a lot of sense because, you know, what first comes to my mind is, yeah, just add more RAM and we're rocking and rolling.